Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic. So I just wanted to pop up here for a really quick video for today. I am going to give you two of the choices for October's Cozy Escape Book Club picks. And then I will leave a link down below for Lisa's two choices. We wanted to sort of give a little bit more in depth of what the four choices are going to be. We will still host the um, Facebook vote, the Instagram vote, and the Twitter vote as well as the one on my channel just so that as many people as possible can vote for the books that they want. And so October is the month as well for the bookish themed cozies. So I found two bookish themed cozies that I'm really, really excited to read, so let's get into it. The very first book that I chose is The Christie Curse. It is a book collector mystery series by Victoria Abbott. I'll pop it up right over here, and it looks really, really good. It talks about how um, Jordan Kelly needs a new job and a new place to live. She is back in Harrison Falls, New York, living with her not-so-law-abiding uncles, in, and she's in debt thanks to her credit card stealing ex and pending grad student loans, which we all can, you know, relate to, or at least I can relate to. So, enters the perfect job, a research position that includes room and board, which will allow her to spend her days hunting down rare mysteries and um, for an avid book collector. There's one problem. Her employer, Vera Van Alst, the most, is the most hated citizen of Harrison Falls, and she believes that in 1926, Agatha Christie disappeared for a week, making headlines across the world, and then she um, showed up 11 days later at a spa under an assumed name. During those 11 days, did she have time to write a play? And it seems as though Jordan's new boss, Vera Van, is having her track down um, sort of the bunny trails or breadcrumbs that Agatha Christie might have left for um, someone to find this play that she created. But it turns out that it, you know, it seems easy enough, but Jordan soon finds out that her predecessor was killed while looking for it. And there is still someone out there willing to murder to keep the play out of Vera's hands. Jordan's new job is good, but is it worth her life? I don't know. That's for you to decide. Are we going to read that for October or... Are we going to be reading crime and poetry? I thought that we should have like one bookish magical selection that we can choose from since it is October and it's the spooky month. So this is Crime and Poetry by Amanda Flower. This is the first book in the Magical Bookshop Mystery series. So this one is all about um, Violet returning home to her um, ailing grandmother's bedside. She is shocked when she finds Grandma Daisy the picture of perfect health and um, it doesn't, Violet doesn't need to read between the lines. Her grandma wants Violet back home and working in her magical store, Charming Books. It's where the perfect book tends to fly off the shelf and pick you. Um, it says that Violet has every intention to hightail it back to Chicago, but then a dead man is discovered clutching a volume of Emily Dickinson's poems from Grandma Daisy's shop. The victim is Benedict Raisin, who recently put Grandma Daisy in his will, making her a prime suspect. Now, with the help of a tuxedo cat named Emerson, Violet will have to find a killer to keep Grandma from getting booked for good. So I thought that that sounded amazing as well, because again, we've got a furry companion, which nothing is better than a furry companion. So I want you to go to the link down below and go and see about Lisa's two picks and then go vote on one of our social medias. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you have an amazing day and happy reading. Bye.